welcome back to our spiritual exercises that are designed to help us focus and center in God during this difficult time. Today we have a wonderful exercise. This is one that's not from scripture. It is a meditation that was written by Father Joseph Tetlow. We have an adaptation of it. He wrote it for people who are doing the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius. I think you're going to really love it. So I'd like to introduce to you Terry Shubin, who is one of the members of our congregation, who's going to tell us about this and lead us through it. This imagination exercise is really special to me, and I believe that the others will understand why when we're finished. Now, let's settle into our chairs and take some deep breaths. Take a few deep breaths. Feel yourselves relax and melt into your chairs. Breathe. Now, let's invite Jesus into the room. Notice that Jesus has brought some boxes with him. He places them around your feet. He invites you to put all your cares and all the things that may rob you of peace into the boxes. He will take care of them while we rest here. Let's continue to breathe and give everything to Jesus. If you'd like more time to spend like this, press pause and give yourself that time. When you are ready to continue, press play. Now let me lead you to a field. I imagine that I walk through a spring field it is riotous with wild flowers. As I walk to the top of a rising hill, I find a long mirror standing in its pier. I notice that the mirror faces the full sun. I walk around the mirror and I note it is a little old. It has lost some pieces of its silvering. It is chipped in places. I am surprised to find the mirror here, and I wonder what it means. I walk around the front. I see that the mirror is liquid with light. It throws off so much light that if I were to look directly at it, I would go blind. Then I realize that the light is the sun's light. The sun pours its light down onto the mirror, holding nothing back of its power and its brilliance. The mirror accepts the sun's light as much as fits and as much as it can take. It does not let its little and large flaws matter. They are insignificant compared to the light the mirror accepts. Then the mirror throws back to the sun all the light that melts in its heart. It holds no light back. I am surprised by that. Wondering, I turn my face to the sun. I raise my face. I turn my hands outward. Now I am receiving the sun's light. I take as much light as fits, as much as I can take. 
I return the, the, the light to the sun, shifting in exquisite measure the balance of the universe. I would like to fling back to the sun all the light the sun pours into me from all my heart. I ignore the flaws in me that hinder it. I give all I can. I rest with the sun on my face. Then I realize how much this is like God in me. God is the sun. I am the mirror. God pours out into me many, many gifts, all of them a partaking in God's own self. I take into myself all the gifts that fit. I take in as much as I am able, refusing to let my flaws and sins and limitations dim this loving exchange. I am on fire with God's gift of love. I accept his love. I return to him all the love I can. I rest in this exchange of love and sunlight. I am content. If you'd like more time here, just press pause. Lord, thank you for showering us with your love. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Can you tell me how you use that meditation? This exercise is really meaningful to me. Um, I'm always so touched by the thought of God delighting in me. <laughs> so much of his love pouring into me, and I'm always left smiling. Mm. I can practice this anywhere I go. Um, I just need to turn my face upwards and let the love pour in. And I'm always left feeling very dear to him. Ah. <laughs> I actually have, I like to practice this too, and I recently did it while I was having an MRI. Mm -hmm. uh, it helped me from kind of going crazy in that little tube, and mm -hmm. I could just feel the sunlight of God's love mm -hmm. pouring onto me, and yeah, it's a place mm -hmm. that I can go. I have a certain field that I go every time. It's up in Tuolumne Meadows, and oh, that's yeah. the one I go to in that meadow. Yeah. That's lovely. Yeah, it is. Great. Thank you so much for leading us. Thank you for the opportunity. Mm. And thank you for joining us today. And we hope that you'll check back every Thursday morning when we will have a different meditation or scripture prayer. Thanks for coming.